The sun is a disgusting rag and they have to pay for what they have done to Hugh Edwards. They try to destroy someone's life with false claims of illegality involving a minor. We know now there was no criminality and the sun have driven a vulnerable man into medical care. Whoa, 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 hang on. There's a four year waiting list and Hugh Edwards gets to go into the hospital the same day. Typical. <laughs> Right then, we know I am a huge fan of ludicrous liberal hypocrisy. S seriously, these guys make homosexual Baptist preachers caught ramming a rent boy in a sleazy motel whilst wearing a frock. They make those guys look like bastions of truth and integrity. <laughs> I can't believe what I've read the last two days on Twitter. Owen Jones was just the tip of the iceberg. There are hundreds of liberal talking heads, not just defending Mr. Edwards, but actually praising him. Far more praiseworthy than me, a mere handsome, disease-free war hero with no criminal record. <laughs> or have I? The police dropped the pocket wank on the back of the bus. Uh, <laughs> fiasco. Yeah, disease-free, no criminal record, never been in bother with the law. I'm detestable because I disagree politely with Owen Jones. But this guy, a 61 year old man, almost a pensioner, fooling around with a 17 year old, and they are calling it praiseworthy, moral, honorable, noble behavior. Do you know who else was an old bloke messing around with a 17 year old? <laughs> Yes, very odd that, isn't it? Both old blokes, both messing around with teenagers. Two very different responses. I believe the Guardian reader types would have referred to Prince Andrew as a despicable, detestable nonce who should be locked up for a very long time. But Hugh has drew nothing but praise from all of the usual suspects. Dan Walker writes, this is an awful situation. Hugh Edwards is not in a good place and this must be terrible for his family. I just hope whoever needs help gets the time, space and support they need to heal. <laughs> I'll tell you what would be terrible for my family. The kids finding out that daddy was conquer deep in a teenage boy's dirt box. <laughs> I, think, I, I think that wouldn't go down too well with the family. Well done on handling the breaking news about Hugh. This was an awful and shocking episode where there was no criminality. You know what they're all doing? They're doing the same legalese that all of our lying scumbag politicians do. They're obsessed with the law because these days they ignore any laws they don't like and they write new ones. I listened to Tim Farron this morning gobbing off about the boats and he's basically saying, oh no, no, but the law, the law, the UN law, therefore we have to take another 20 million blokes in. It's nonsense. The fact that the police, who were all woke, have decided there was no criminality is completely irrelevant. All you need to know is, is this decent moral behaviour? That's all you need to know. Is a 61 year old either plugging or attempting to plug 17 year olds a just and reasonable and moral thing to do? Is it praiseworthy? Answers on the back of a postcard. The behaviour is disgraceful and despicable. And as I told Owen myself, a 61 year old after shagging a 17 year old isn't perfectly reasonable behaviour. Send your granddad to pick up chicks outside the local comprehensive school and see how he gets on. And that's all that needs to be said. They can obfuscate and slither about using slippery words, talking about no illegality. But the fact of the matter is, it is detestable, deeply immoral behaviour, no matter what the law has to say about it. And the fact that they're constantly defending, nay, not even just defending, praising the perpetrator, says far more about them than it does about people like me that are rightly condemning him. Let me know what you think. Do you honestly think it's that black and white? Technically, there wasn't a crime committed, therefore not a problem. Do you really think it's that black and white? Do you think if Nigel Farage was piping a teenager, Owen Jones would be <laughs> telling everyone, whoa, 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 it's his private life. You've got to lay off Nigel. Do me a favour. They'd have him in the guillotine if it was down to them. But let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to go and watch Mission Impossible this weekend because I've predicted it'll break a billion dollars. I mean, it's not really much of a prediction. It's obvious to anybody who's got a hole in their ass. But that's what I'm doing. Enjoy your weekend. Let me know what you think in the comments. 
and I will see you all for a live stream on Monday. Have a good one. Toodle pip. Cheers.